Hey, this is Shop Talk, where once a month we talk to you as if you were in our store buying comics. So the camera is you, and we're just talking about the comics as if you're buying it. It's kind of weird, but we're gonna do it. I'm not doing that. No, you gotta do it. No, that's 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 the stupidest conceit ever. Oh well, I'm the boss. Okay. Hey, thanks for checking out a comic shop. I see you found some comics in our shop. I'm Aaron. Uh, this is Oral. Hey, everybody. And uh, got a minute? Let's just talk about it. It looks like you got some good stuff. This is. This is like what I live for, just talking about the comics when people come up here. I don't actually like doing any of the work, you oh, know? Yeah, that's surprising. I like ordering the comics that I, I think are good, and then I like it when people actually come up and, and get them and talking about it. But so. do you talk to them about it? Oh, yeah. With my video and comments back on the video, and then, you know. But, some... no, not actually in the store. Except oh, in the Geek Easy right sometimes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The Geek is fun. Yeah, people are drinking, they have their comics. You check it out, get a beer. Um, East of West, number one, this book was phenomenal. It was insane. Post-apocalyptic, Western, alternate history, awesomeness. Yes, and uh, Hickman. Oh my God. Um, next week is issue two and the second print of issue one. If people didn't get that, you got the last copy of number one that we have of the first print, so good on you. Uh, Harbinger War, you guys know how much I love Valiant. You know how much I love Valiant. Yeah, and I've caught up on most of the Valiant series. They're awesome. If you haven't read them, you should be reading them. Yeah, then the Harbinger is teaming up the Harbinger with Bloodshot, and they're both coming together at odds with these Syot children, and it's, it's organic in how it's a crossover, and it's freaking awesome. And mm -hmm. I just love everything about Valiant Comics. It's, it's oh my lord. Um, Star Wars. I, you know, I was like born with a uh, C-3PO figure in my hand. So I've been a Star Wars fan since like the beginning. Um, this is the best Star Wars book I ever read. It's Brian Wood, and Brian Wood is so perfect. When you look at his body of work, he's done all kinds of stuff with really good characterization, especially female characterization, which this is Leia. Yeah. And, and also really good political stuff and, you know, action, rebellion, uh, punk rock stuff. And this is like the rebellion as you get all the characterization that you didn't really get much of in the movies. No. And you get the action, but you get all that political intrigue. Plus, she's in an X-Wing. Yeah. Leia's in an X-Wing. Why wouldn't she know how to fly an X-Wing? You know, I mean, she could withstand torture, you know? like. But you also deal with the fallout of her whole planet was blown up in front of her eyes. And then, you know, she's kissing Han the next movie. So, I mean, no. this is between, it's after New Hope, but before Empire. And it's just so perfect. This is what a comic book series should do, where the movie just has these big beats, big beats. A comic book series can really play up the characterization and the political intrigue of, you know, a rebellion versus an empire. And, you know, there's shades of of our life and, and the American empire and all that, you know, we're, we're rebels. Oh yeah, this book, um, it got banned for maybe a day off of iTunes. I don't uh, think it lasted because a of, day. Yeah, uh, there, there's some scenes in here where the TV head prince um, has some gay porn on his face. Um, so, you know, if you, if you don't wanna see the, the gay porn, just kind of put your thumb here, and then when you turn the page, put your thumb here, and then you'll be fine. But Saga is a great book. Is that all we could afford for a sensor bar? Just your thumb? Yes. Oh. And to me, it's like uh, the book, I, I know that the controversy was crap and it turned out it really wasn't anything, but I'm so glad that the, the book got on people's mouths and, yeah. and it got out there because it deserves so much more praise. Plus, look how cute this scene is. Look it's, how cute it is. Yes. It's a little seal and a walrus. It really has the juxtaposition of like the, the, the gross stuff, like that troll ogre ball sack mm. and really cute things too. So, you know, good on Fiona Sable. She can draw anything. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, this is a, it's a fake out. I'm sorry, she was just at a costume party. So um, yeah, I don't know if you really want to get any more. Um, I don't know, you can make your own decision. You guys know, I love Scott Snyder. I love Scott Snyder, but this Charles Soule guy kicked ass. Yeah. He did uh, 27 for uh, Image, which is like, you know, all of the greats died at 27. You know, Kurt Cobain, mm. uh, Janis Joplin, uh, Jim Morrison and Jimi Hendrix all died at 27. So he did this great conspiracy book of, of why that happened. And this Swamp Thing, he's doing single issue stories, two issue stories. Route World was like 18 parts, yeah. kind of, and plus some Animal Mans. This is your in and out. So if you needed a change from Route World, if you love Scott Snyder, but you wanted a different direction, this is the book for you. And I like that DC is going out there and hiring these image guys, these cutting edge guys, not, you know, the classic Lobdell, Mackies, whatever that they did when the beginning of the New 52. Now they're reaching out more into that Jeff Lemire vein yeah. that, you know, he was, it's, it's awesome. So give that a shot. The first issue has 
what Scarecrow and Superman? Yes. I mean, it got it has what you want. It's still very horror, but it's fully integrated into the new Fifty Two. Mm. This Thanos Rising. I mean, Jason Aaron is a friend of the store. He's the man. I be sure to bring this back on June first. First, June first to get Jason Aaron to sign it because he will be here with his beard and all. Uh, be, he'll. Be giving out free kisses and sign signing books, drinking beers in the Geek Easy. Well, I'll be and, drinking beers, except for those of us who are on duty. Yeah, you're always on duty. So uh, Thanos Rising, it's an origin of Thanos, and it's really humanizing him, but mm. I dig it. Oh, that's your baby. Yeah, I am so excited. Um, all new X-Men, if you've heard about it and you couldn't get an issue with us, we're sorry. But the trade is out, and then next month, the end of next month... Um, Volume 2 comes out. So you can get Volume 1 and Volume 2. So just start collecting at 11. Just get Issue 11. Jump on this book. It's awesome. Read the companion book, Uncanny X-Men. So come back at the end of the month to get Volume 2 and get 11 as soon as you see it. And just don't read it until you read Volume 2. Yeah. And uh, here is the May list. So, you know, uh, sign up for your comics. We'll hold them for you. You don't have to just take this crapshoot with them. And uh, three books to watch out for there. One is The Movement, which is Gail Simone doing a book about the 99%, but the 99% with superpowers, disenfranchised, superpowered characters in the DC universe. Um, the other thing is The Wake, a Vertigo book. It's a horror book by Scott Snyder yeah. with Sean Murphy from Punk Rock Jesus which was on awesome. art. So it's, it's um, weird, futuristic, sci-fi horror, deep in the ocean. And finally, Number Cruncher. This is my odd choice, but this is going to be something that's going to sell out everywhere. It's going to be crazy. Is it about tax season? No. Number Cruncher is Cy Spurrier, a writer that you guys know from, uh, you know, Marvel and, and Avatar. Yes. Okay. And it's a dude that is a mathematician that works the, the number system to be reincarnated into his lover's life over and over and over again. So it's essentially like what if Swamp Thing had a brain? I mean, no, what if uh, Hawkman had a brain? I'm nah. sorry. What if Hawkman, who just smashes things with a mace all the time, actually did math? And, you know, I just give it a shot. It's number cruncher. I mean, don't you want to support weird stuff? You know, we I do. I still think it's about tax season. No, tax season's over. Oh, and um, free comic book day. So free comic book day is the first Saturday in May. It's May 4th. It's going to be awesome. We'll have all kinds of free books. A Superman book, a Star Wars book, a Walking Dead book, an Infinity book for I'm so Marvel. excited about Infinity. And, you know, there'll be a little oddball choices all over, but those are the big ones. And it'll be all day long. You come in here, have a hot dog, have some beers, and we'll have crazy sales too. So it's going to be awesome. Free comic book day. Freaking rocks. And, you know, after that, come to the uh, Jason Aaron signing. And, you know, thanks for stopping in. See ya.